here with Francesco Mazzeo, bigger and meaner than ever. You said you were coming here to release the dark part in you. Yeah. Uh, did you get it out? Are we good for a while? Oh, I think so. <laughs> I think so because for a long time I was waiting this moment. Uh, I'm in camp from a long time, from January in the US alone, uh, outside my comfort zone. So I really couldn't wait this time. So those, this, the last week uh, I thought I'm going to kill someone <laughs> because I was so mad. Now finally I can relax because it was a long time. So all so you took all that frustration basically, you just yes. <laughs> all yes. in that one punch. A lot, a lot. Everyone I know, the, everyone has a lot of problems in their life, but stay outside of my country alone. Uh, some, you know, you are far away from your family, so you keep your, the, your madness. And now I, I could like pull out everything. And you fought at light heavyweight uh, back yeah. in uh, amateur. How do you feel? Do you feel like so much more powerful at this so way? Are you here to stay? Honestly, I want to be honest, I can do the both division. But the last time, uh, uh, I'm a big boy. So to do the middleweight, I need a lot of time to, to be in diet, in a very strict diet. I can do it. Mm -hmm. But I thought I want to try the light heavyweight because uh, to have more, more energy to in, in camp is very important. So this camp, uh, I, I was every time uh, super, super uh, energetic mm -hmm. and was easier to cut the weight. Uh, I think for now, for now. I want to be a light heavyweight okay. and then we'll see. And in your last fight, you ate an illegal knee to the face. Yeah. I think it was one of the worst ones I've ever seen, honestly. It was so bad. Honestly, what, did me it, too. Did, you know, was there any like, lasting damage? How long did it take you to recover from that? I broke my face with, the, with that knee in two parts, my cheekbone uh, in two parts. The orbital part. bone? Or? Yes, yes. And for a couple of weeks, uh, I don't want to lie, I couldn't see very, very good. I was worried. I was worried. But then uh, with the doctor, uh, I thought I need some injury, uh, some uh, surgery, sorry. Mm -hmm. But uh, after one month, I, I was fine. And my doctor said, OK, you can fight. I couldn't wait that moment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you had a last minute replacement. Was there any adjustments made or was the plan the same, just to inflict some big damage early and just go home? So yes, uh, I'm, I'm wild. I, I like to be wild. It's my style. So. Every opponent that I have, they have to know that it's going to be a wild fight with me. But my coaches this time, they said, Francesco, I really want you very disciplined, not super violent, violent quickly. But if you see the knockout, go. Mm -hmm. So I try to, 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 to be focused. Uh, and I saw the plight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go. And he threw that spinning fist and then you like, you know, was there was it in your you know, in your mind as well? Or you just yeah. like it gave you the idea. I was like, oh, yeah, let me try that, too. No, <laughs> no, no, I don't want to lie, because yesterday I was talking with my teammates and they said, guys, I think I want to knock him down uh, with the back fist. Mm -hmm. And uh, they said, oh, if you, you if you will do it, uh, you are the king. So he tried on me. Uh -huh. And they realized, no, now it's my time, <laughs> because I told to my teammates. And that didn't work, but that set it up yeah, I know. You know, perfectly, <laughs> right? For the right hand to land. Nice. Yes. <laughs> so what's next? I really, really want to fight uh, as soon as possible. I really want the belt in light heavyweight, mm -hmm. for real. And it's my biggest goal in my life. So just keep going uh, to train. I want to stay in vacation just for a couple of weeks, and then I want to come back uh, to, with my coach Jake uh, Buraker, Coach Fiore, they are the best. Mm -hmm. I changed myself in the last year. I'm so grateful, so thankful for uh, Fiore and Jake. And I'm so sad because Fiore is not here, but I think he's going to be happy. So Fiore, oh, yeah. I show you the dog. You sure did. <laughs> well, congratulations. So Thank nice to so have much. you back. Thank you so much.